for the most part of my life, I tried not to be an empath at all. I tried to completely sort of kill this part of me because I always saw negative coming from it. Because when you feel other people's emotions, it's just that, um, well, you have two choices. Yeah, you can ignore it, walk away from it. A lot of people do that. And can I blame them? No, I can't. Because society, in this society, empathy, empaths are a minority. That means that we sort of, when we are outed as being that, most people don't understand what empathy actually is. And think of it more like you're a sucker, right? You're the person to come to, to completely drain. Whenever you need something, you come to you and say, oh, I really, really, no matter how self-inflicted self it is, the situation a person may be in. Because the, the sad reality is that most people, you know, when they feel like they have a safety net, they kind of like, that's it, you know, they like the safety net and they are not really putting too much effort into anything. And so, you know, I, I always say that, you know, when you do something for somebody and you see the energy is, that you put out is put into motion. And by the way, energy is not just, it can be money. Money is energy, you know, it takes energy to make it and things become easier when you have it, if you use it in a smart way. Um, but it can be anything that you do. I mean, there are people when who I talk to them, uh, I am completely uplifted and my day becomes easy and I accomplish more than ever. You know, just, and I don't, I cannot explain all of it, but these are intuitive empaths. These are people who are able to sort of, um, well, they sense me and I sense them. So when it's amazing, something that should be a permanent situation in our lives is a rare situation. Some actually never experience that because a lot of people who have, have empathy and are empaths, are really magnets for users, magnets for vampires. That often, when you enter the wrong door, you miss the chance to enter the right door. And you're surrounded by bad energies and people who are intuitive, they sort of may not even want to, they like you, they would, they would love to probably be in touch with you and you would probably be great together, but in certain moments, they just sense other people's energies in you because you didn't fight it off. And I am very, very convinced that one of the biggest reasons for that is that we, if we allow ourselves uh, to be guilted by society into doing things our intuition goes against, then we might as well, you know, take the advice and you can't help everybody. But there's another choice, and the other choice is that you actually follow your empathy. But in order for you to be able to do that, you need to disconnect from a lot of things that you may have been raised believing. So every time somebody comes to you and basically tells you, you know, what a good person should do, or this or that, and now this often includes parents, for whatever reason that they teach you, smile at people, be polite to people, be this, be that. You see, it's harder for somebody who is an empath, a lot harder because you actually absorb. Meaning when you open the door basically by smiling at somebody, greeting somebody, being fake with somebody because that seems to be the number one thing that parents again and again and again teach their children to be, to be fake. You see, when you're a child, you have very good instincts intuition very good you meet somebody who you know everyone says, says this is a respectable man and this is a great person and this but the, the child the child just doesn't like it the child senses something the empath child and then you're taught <coughs> that's so impolite that is so rude basically in other words in society you as the empath are being made to feel like you're the nun like you're the bad one like you have no empathy those people don't understand that empathy is really a condition. It's a condition that we were born with. So I saw all of these, so many documentaries about crimes. 
and uh, I noticed a reoccurring phenomenon where, I mean, the story is so horrible, I cannot even explain it, you know, but the woman said, I knew it was time to get out of the house, but I didn't want to seem impolite. My intuition told me to. You see, empathy can get you into a position. Empathy can get you to open a door that may seem very, very dangerous or risky. Because what if the person you have empathy for is setting a trap? What if that person is uh, having an agenda or a plan that you, you know, it's very simple. You have to rely only on your empathy, on your, on your intuition, only, because real empathy comes as intuition. You see, nature doesn't screw around, so it is a balance in you. On the one hand, you have the intuition to save you, but you also have the empathy to recognize the needs of people, and both of that can be used to your advantage. Or overall, you know, exchange of real energies, that's really what it is. So I'm not talking about <clears throat> all of these people being suckered to donate to some cause where the employees and CEOs pay themselves, you know, 100% of the uh, donations. I'm talking about really where you don't even plan it. You just know out of all of the brainwashing that you see, you see, you see these, uh, even in, 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 in Europe, you see during these major soccer matches, you see these Welthunger, you see these uh, German NGOs and all of these, uh, you know, they, they, oh, they spend their money to be seen. They invest that money to be, you know, and people donate and they donate and they donate and they donate. So you see this, you probably, hmm, I really wonder what's, there's something, that, you know, not right here. Oh, by the way, this is for entertainment purposes only, of course. And then you come across a situation or situation comes across you. And you just feel the need to connect. You, you realize there's a good person in real need. And by good person, I mean somebody who's not a user. I mean somebody also who's not a habitual um, um, parasite. Because I've met a lot of real parasites recently. Um, as somebody who just wants to live their life, but they may have made a bad choice, they may have gotten themselves into a bad situation that they really can't handle because they usually don't get themselves into these kind of situations. They have done something, who knows? It's not, you see, know, there's a big difference between not judging and uh, judging not to judge, if you will. Do you know what I mean? You Judging doesn't come to your mind when you sense somebody, when you connect with somebody, when you realize this person is in need. This person also is not a black hole in terms of their whole life is just a suck you dry kind of thing. Uh, you feel right about somebody. And, and clear cognizance is probably the one word that I like the most. I don't like to even go by clear sentiments, clear audience, and all of these things. I like to just call it clear cognizance, which means clear recognition, basically, meaning that you just know, you just sense. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's your eyesight or your, your or the tone of voice. You see, tone of voice, all of these things we pick up on, but it's a combination of everything. You know what I mean? When the combination of everything draws a picture in your mind about somebody, you feel like you know this person. And I can tell you something, in times of need, that's when people got to know me, when I was in times of need. That's when I get to know, when I realize real somebody saying, oh my God, you know, this is okay, this is what's going on. And the cards are on the table. Like, wow, this is what's going on. This is all that's going on. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Then you can follow, I believe, your empathy. But keep in mind that intuition, I don't believe, gives you an exact idea where something will lead. 
you just sort of sense like this is leading somewhere right. And I'm also convinced that when it stops leading you somewhere right, your intuition will tell you, even if that person will change, even if maybe that person brings back bad people into their lives, absorbs bad energy, has, you know, vampires around them that try to get to you through that person. All of this can happen. So there needs to be this inner sense of balance. And I believe that, you know, those of us who have real empathy also have in exchange to balance it out, a warning system that most people do not have. Use it.